I'm going to teach you how to make super easy soap. It's fun to give to friends, it's fun to use with your family, and it's an easy way to share essential oils. And everybody uses soap. So this one's my lemongrass tea tree. I started learning about the um, soap making from a lady in Young Living and I started following her and was very impressed. Like she's the soap lady and everyone knows her as a soap lady. So I actually had been messaging her for a while, getting ideas and then I finally got down to it and bought this stuff. And I'll just share with you the things that I've been learning and how I want to do it. So the first purchase I got this is a loaf soap mold. It's a soap mold. You can buy all different kinds of silicone molds and different shapes from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Um, I did this one because I wanted to make the bar soap. So I actually went to Meyer and different like specialty stores that had natural soaps to see how what kind of flavors they have. I looked at Young Living to see what kind they had. And then I just came up with um, some the three soaps that I've made. I haven't done a ton yet, but I'm excited to do it. I used my 50% coupon. There was one that came out. So this is normally $30. So I got it for 15 and you, you know, usually you can get a 40% coupon for Hobby Lobby. You can get it also for um, Michael's. This is where you can buy this. You can also buy it on Amazon, but it was cheaper for me to do it that way. So you start off with that. Then you also need the little cutters. This one's a crinkle cutter. Um, I bought this one with my coupon again, 50, another 50% off one. You can buy these at, um, I was going to say Old Navy. You can buy this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I didn't check Joann's. You can also buy these online on Amazon. And this one's the straight one. So I do different um, ones all the time. And the thing that I was researching a lot was the soap. Um, the ones at Michaels and Hobby Lobby have the, um, I can't remember the name of it. They're not so good for you. Um, so propylene glycol, I know are in all of them. There's clear, there's white. So I went to bulk apothecary. This one's an all natural one. It's the shea, shea butter soap base. This is the one that lathers really nice. Um, I love it. Um, the clear one I don't use, but this one has the natural glycerin. It's all natural. These are double the price of the cheaper version. So this is one pound and this is another pound. And then I use two pounds and like a fourth of this one just to get some more squares because this is a two pound soap mold or loaf mold whatever you call it I forgot the name but I like it to go a little bit above so it makes it a nice full bar that's why I go more than the two pounds or it just kind of sinks under a little bit so that's um, what I do with that now it's super easy it's called melt and pour soap I cut this up in two chunks like a one by one square as you can see like that I just cut them up with my normal knife um, and then I cut it up on a little um, thing and then I throw it in a, you can do it in a double boiler. If you don't have a double boiler, you can um, just get a big pot and then put like a glass, like a thin glass thing and then pour it in. And you just want to stir it until it melts and pours. Easy, right? I mean, until it melts. So you're just melting it, then you take it off the heat and that's when you start adding your nat natural exfoliants in it. I didn't want to use dyes. I mean, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of me doing it all natural. <laughs> yes, they look cool with all the different dyes and the different like um, procedures that you can do with it, but I wanted it to be an all natural, especially since I'm using the Young Living Essential Oils. So after that, I take it off the heat. I let it cool just a little bit. You don't want it because it's going to start getting hard right away. So I stick my finger in it. It's a little hot. So I know that as long as I can touch it, I can put the essential oil in. But I first add my natural um, um, exfoliants and color. So turmeric is a good color. This is kind of, I just Googled it, natural colors for bar soap. And turmeric is kind of like an orange yellow. And then I also use paprika. I forgot to bring that. I use the paprika for a little bit more of an orangey red um, exfoliant. I mean color and then my exfoliants I like to use like a rosemary and I blend it up my husband thought it was too hard just the size it was so I took a blender and blended it up you can do oatmeal I've got my oats these are my organic oats that I have um, that's a natural exfoliant you can have cornmeal is another a natural exfoliant um, so there's all different things you can google um, liquid chlorophyll is what I made my um, peppermint rosemary with where it's a natural green so when you Google it, you'll find different fun things. I know some people use like coffee for a natural exfoliant, but also um, the coffee grains for a brownish color. 
Um, honey and almond oil will bring that natural off-white color. It's really pretty and I've used that in my soaps. So once you melt it, you're gonna throw in the recipes. I've already posted them on Oils Amore. But you have to be careful because some colors, you just put in a fourth a teaspoon, you can't take back your color. So I do a fourth a teaspoon if I stir it in and it's um, like a light color and you want a little bit darker, then put in another half teaspoon. It's just like cooking, you know, you just kind of play by ear. Same as the chlorophyll, liquid chlorophyll, I probably put in a tablespoon, I don't remember. To get the green, if you want a light green or a darker green, it's up to you how you want to do that. Then I just blended up my oats. My cornmeal was already blended up and I do about a fourth of a cup. I did a cup, half a cup before and all it does is sink to the bottom um, because it's too heavy. And so I just do a fourth a cup now. And that's just a natural exfoliant. When you're on your skin, it will naturally exfoliate. So after that, you put all your seasonings in and you do your essential oil. I like 75 drops. Um, I want a nice smell. Um, so it's probably about, if you're doing 10, because you can get 9 to 10 bars of soap out of this, and you can, um, to me, 75 drops makes it a good smell. So then I pour, after I've done all the essential oils in it, and then I pour this in it, so it's nice soap. You want it on a counter, nice and flat. And then, I forgot to add this to the recipe thing, but if this is rubbing alcohol. I just used an extra clear bottle. It's just rubbing alcohol. It takes all the bubbles away from on top. And then all I'm going to do is just spray all the way through until all the bubbles are gone. You're not going to lift it like this, but it's on the counter and you want it to cure three to four hours. Then all you do is unscrew this stuff. It is pretty tricky to un to pop these off. Sometimes I needed my husband to help me because it's the soap mold is all stuck in here, but you're going to unscrew the sides um, with a silicone. It's easy to pop them out, but with this, you have to take it and I kind of have to and then I do it on the counter and then with the two edges I take my straight cutter and I slowly slice this one off and the other one and I'm not a perfect measure I just cut and I usually get about nine of these then to wrap it up I like to use burlap you can cut it into a size or wax paper and then I just tape the back and then I just use a natural um, uh, burlap uh, twine. And then for Christmas, I put, we wash you a Merry Christmas is all Pinterest. Spread Christmas joy, not germs. And I have gotten such great feedback. People are liking how it feels on their skin. It's a great way for me to introduce essential oils. Another one is the lip balm. I already heard from another teacher who just loves it and wants to know how to make it. So good luck with your soap making. You can share your ideas. But I just got into it and I'm having a blast with it. It's something that I want to keep doing. It, it only takes, what, probably 15, 20 minutes. My kids have fun doing it with me and just trial and error. My next one I really want to do is like lavender peppermint because I love those two in the diffuser. It's great for the skin. You can try all different things, but have fun with it.